In this problem, we have two identical ions separated by 5 times 10 to the negative 10 meters, and there is an electrostatic force acting between them of 3.7 times 10 to the negative 9 newtons. We're told that the ions are identical, uh, so we assume that both ions also have the same charge, so we're only looking for a single value here. First of all, we'll apply Coulomb's law, and since the charges on each ion are equal, I simplify it a bit here so that we're dealing with two of the same charge. And now, we rewrite this formula to solve for Q. We multiply both sides by R squared, divide both sides by K, and take the square root to get Q on its own. And this is our formula. Now time to plug in the values we have. Like so. And we end up with an answer of 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. In part B of the problem, we must find the number of electrons that are missing from each ion, or rather, how many electrons would either of the ions need to be electrically neutral. The problem doesn't tell us this outright, but the fact that the question implies electrons are missing means that the charge on these ions at the moment must be positive, since electrons are negatively charged. Therefore, the total charge of the missing electrons will equal the magnitude of the excess positive charge on each ion. Now, due to the way that charge is quantized, uh, the number of electrons or protons in a, in a charge, or I'm going to call that n, the number of electrons or protons in a charge, is equal to uh, the magnitude of the charge divided by the elementary charge, which is a constant value. Now let's plug in our values for the negative charge and the elementary charge, and we end up with a grand total of two electrons.